Hello, it's Miriam from Blind Forest Tarot here at Blind Forest Books in Sackville, New Brunswick. And today I'm doing a reading on Venus, the planet of love, of beauty, of abundance, <laughs> making its transit through its home sign of Taurus. So, Taurus is also the sign that rules the second house of money, of resources, of comfort. So this period from March 16th to April 11th promises to be a time of amazing stabilization. So the decks I chose for this reading are Life Purpose Oracle Cards, Oracle of the Roses, Goddesses Among Us and Angels Among Us Super Deck, and most excitingly the pasta tarot this is the first time i've done a collective reading with this deck and i thought it would be appropriate for taurus because taurus is um known <laughs> to love good food hooray so let's get right into it with the cut cards the initial energy of this transit and we start with speaker which I find so interesting because the body part that Taurus rules is the throat and Taurus are known for being beautiful singers but this transit invites you to give voice to something yeah the challenger number four and it's Leo energy so this transit is challenging you to shine by stabilizing everything that supports your creative endeavors at this point because this transit wants to support you in those taking you everywhere yay <laughs> and so next we have number 24 saint lucy charity sight and faith and she's actually blind so this transit asks you to trust in the unseen, to have deep faith in those goals that have been your guiding light. <laughs> and the tarot card splitting the deck was the King of Swords reversed. So yeah, this big thing that has yet to fully come together, <laughs> but that you've been uh, strategizing around wholeheartedly, where the King of Swords reversed points back at Queen of Swords energy. And the card on the other side of the split was the moon. So it has felt scary <laughs> that that hasn't come together yet. But you're asked to feel the fear and do it anyway and realize that you are in that darkest moment before such a bright new dawn. Amazing. <laughs> so the shadow cards, the energy bringing you to this Venus in Taurus transit. And we start with, oh, I'm going to look at that after. Oh, my heart is so warmed. <laughs> oh, even, even warmer. <laughs> we start with trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So even more emphasis on trusting the unseen where she's holding a crystal ball. Realize that your intuition has gotten you this far. And the support you need is coming. The next shadow card is number 15, the companion, Libra energy, which we saw in that Queen of Swords vibes. But Libra also rules the seventh house of relationships. So the support you need is coming. Beautiful. So this transit will also make you support you, help you <laughs> to make some super stabilizing changes in your relationships that support everyone's goals moving forward yay and so this is the one that i was so excited about but it's 28 goddess lakshmi the goddess of fortune and abundance she has prosperity beauty and fortune so trust that those are the energies that are ready to blossom for you it really is all coming together 28 is a 10 numerologically the number of the wheel of fortune card and the final shadow card, yes, I'm so glad this card showed up. It's the hangman actually reversed. And the hangman in the Pasatero is so funny. It's when you throw the spaghetti at the wall to see if it's done, to see if it sticks. But where that card is reversed, this transit is helping you realize what's gonna stick. The, this is the end <laughs> of the cycle of just like trying out a zillion different things. But whatever it really is that's going to call in that fortune and prosperity for you, you're figuring it out and bringing balance to that. 
Hooray. <laughs> and so, what are the main oracle cards? We start with family. Nice. <laughs> and number three, the alchemist. And it's Scorpio energy. I actually, this is the card that came through my mind's eye when I was picking this deck combination. And we have, ooh, number 32, Grandmother Spider, Guidance, Connection, and Ancient Wisdom. So the huge gift of this transit is going to be some super stabilizing transformations happening in your relationships, in your support systems. You'll be realizing who your soul family is, whether that's your biological family or not. <laughs> but yeah, so much is weaving together. And I love that alchemy. It's making me think of uh, Rumpelstiltskin, straw into gold. So you are figuring out how to bring magic into the mundane <laughs> in ways that release you from the soul contracts that have been holding you back so that you really can embrace this like supported and loving life that you deserve to be living. <laughs> So what's going to be the main theme of this Venus and Taurus transit? And it's death and the emperor. How interesting. So it really is going to help you let go of everything that has kept your passion from surging forward. Everything that's kept you from feeling like you are in control of your trajectory. And how interesting that these are both fours numerologically. 13, 1 plus 3 is 4. 44 is the number of protection from the universe. So this Venus in Taurus transit is really going to affirm that things are stabilizing for you, that the changes you've been waiting for are transpiring. Yes. <laughs> but it will probably involve having to let go, <laughs> continue to let go of what you know no longer serves, but you've been in the process of that. You're doing it. And so what will be the main challenge of this transit? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the four of cups. So needing to face your remaining disappointments. And in so doing, though, a further opportunity is going to come through. The other side of the four of cups is that like meditation or at least a meditative state will serve you really well. Maintaining sort of higher perspective, uh, doing whatever you can to strengthen your higher self connection. But yeah. So what will be stabilizing during this transit in the Department of Love, of material abundance? Mm -hmm. And we start with the Knight of Wands reversed. So it's really going to help you release your past anger and frustration and transmute that into creativity, which is also a huge Taurus theme. Taurus people are known for being really good at, with their hands. They love like gardening and handicrafts and stuff like that. I love it. And also, P.S., this is such a funny night of wands because this pizza has pasta on it. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> but you're not getting mad about silly stuff like that anymore. <laughs> You're finding your creative passion focus. And we have the two of pentacles reversed. That's really helping you to actually address the imbalances that have kept you from finding your footing and from really planting these seeds that you're so ready to see grow. Wow. And grow they will. The wheel of fortune. What an ultimate card for a question that it was about like expansion into love and abundance. So here is your like metaphorical table ready to be filled with so much abundance, sustaining things that are so delicious. <laughs> Yay. And what is your best advice for navigating this Venus in Taurus transit? Amazing. It's the King of Wands. Do you claim your mastery? This entire energy is inviting you to step up into your passion like never before and be so completely celebrated for it. Wow. So what are your messages of hope moving forward through this Venus in Taurus transit? And we start with time to decide. Yes, choose that path. You know what it is. It's already been calling you. <laughs> and you're answering the call now with a capital N. 41, the rescuer. You're ready to like save your own life. Be your own hero. Yes. Actually, knowing that there are many other heroes showing, showing up to support you at the same time. And it's Aries energy. 
I love that Venus moves into Taurus uh, just a few days before actual Aries season begins. But yeah, this is just like the sign of just more good things to come because you have been rising to the challenge of um, just keeping going. And so <laughs> our next higher sunflowers, yeah, number seven, hell. You're deciding to deliver yourself from hell. <laughs> Depth, endings, hidden aspects. So closing that door is gonna allow these new opportunities to present. And yet you really are going to be rewarded for your perseverance, where it's number seven. You're finding your way. Wow. And the final higher self card is the Empress. How beautiful. This actually is Venus energy. We had Venus and Jupiter in this reading. The greater benefic is Jupiter, the lesser benefic is Venus. And when they are working together, blessings arrive you are settling into your true nature there's your like crown chakra a light <laughs> from the meditation you challenged yourself to do <laughs> but wow is something important ever ready to come through you this transit is setting you up so beautifully to settle way in to the life you actually want to be creating and you're gonna succeed Yay! Amazing! What a beautiful reading. And so, that's it for this time. <laughs> if you're interested in a personal reading, you can check out my Etsy shop. It'll be linked below. All my readings focus on uplifting you, empowering you, and aligning you more closely than ever before with your life purpose. Hooray! <laughs> And yeah, remember to like, subscribe, share the video. If it resonates, keep an eye out for the photo recap on Instagram, which will also be linked below and Facebook too. Follow me everywhere. <laughs> yeah, until next time, keep your hearts open, keep your eyes on the skies, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>